Welcome to Fantastic Fiber Friday. Today I'm going to go over carding on a drum carter and I have some beautiful, really, really gorgeous black Welsh mountain sheep. And this has already been washed and it's quite gorgeous. Oh yeah, that's been washed. Make it sure. It's got a little bit of lanolin in it. Really nice staple. And I'm going to go ahead and make a couple bats with this. And I'm going to show you how to make bats on the drum carter. And I may have to play around with the time on this because it may take a little bit longer. But basically what I'm going to do, brush the dust off there. It comes off the fibers as you're carding is I'm going to go ahead and use my drum carter, which my husband so sweetly modified for me. It is motorized. Check it out. And it does have a, temp a speed control. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now, when you sp you're going to pick the fiber apart a bit and maybe pull out any veg you don't want in there. And just lay it down. See how thin that is? You can just kind of see through it. Lay it down on the drum carter and let the drum carter do its job. And I'm going to pick another piece. And it may take me a little bit. See there, I found a little short bit. We don't want that in there. No short bits. Once again, I'm going to kind of pick it apart and lay it on the carter and let the carter just do its job. This one's a pretty clean fleece, which is nice. There is some veg in it in spots, but overall, pretty darn clean. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm going to go ahead and put my little brush down so that it'll tamp down a little bit better. See something there I don't want in there. There we go. So there's another little short bit and take those out. Spread out that fiber. Now this part has a lot of edge, so I'm trying to pull the worst of it out. Now if I was combing, the veg would come out, but it doesn't happen with the carter. So whatever you put in the carter comes out of the carter, and that's very important to remember. So if there is something in that fiber that you don't want in your yarn, then by all means, Pull it out because it will go right into your yarn. And the thing, another thing to be careful of when you're carding is to make sure. Ooh, that does have a lot of lanolin in it yet. Um, is to make sure that. You don't go over where the ends of the fibers are or where the ends of your tines are along the side or it will wrap around the, the spindle that's going through. And it does that occasionally a little bit anyway, normally, so you just try not to spread it out too, too wide. Like if I were to do the whole length of this, let me turn so I can show you. If I were to do the whole length of it, it would actually be rolling up on the spindles. And it's going to take me a little while to get an ounce on here.
Now, before I add more, I just realized I didn't bring my tools over. I'm going to grab my tools real quick because I'm seeing some bits and pieces that are getting on there. And what you can do as you're carding is watch the top. And I'm going to stop it and I'm going to pick out some of this veg. There's a little bit of veg in here. That one piece I put in had a lot of veg in it, even though I tried to pull a lot of it out, but some of it's still here. And you can go ahead and take a knitting needle, like what I'm doing here. And a lot of times the veg will sit on top, so you can actually pull it off as you go. I'm not worrying about my floor because I sweep it up at the end of every day anyway. And this is stuff we don't want in our yarn. Now see this piece has a lot of edge in there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm trying to break close with the camera. Can't lean over too far, I get my sweater caught. <laughs> that could be a bad accident. Almost done. I'm just waiting for the last bit of that to go on the carter. There we go. And it's on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the drum carter now. And I'm going to take this off. And yet again, another knitting needle works great for this. And I didn't put a full one ounce on here just for time constraints. But I did put some on there. And... This is a placemat. I found this works really, really well. And a size 50 knitting needle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse the direction and roll this right off. And I've learned that I actually roll off a lot slower than I roll on. So, really slow it down. bits and pieces, a lot of it really wants to hang in there, doesn't it? And that's what happens when you start with a clean drum carter. It always collects some fiber first. And there's a lot of lanolin in this, a lot more than I thought. So, let's go ahead and pop this out here. And that's what I call my first run, and that's what a first run usually ends up looking like. So I'm going to go ahead and pull any more short bits and stuff that I'm seeing that's eh, not quite right. And any, let's divide it in half. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change direction again. And put it through again. And you can put it through a little faster the second time. The second time never takes near as long as the first time. The only thing you have to watch out for is that your fiber doesn't bunch up. So I keep a hand on it just to make sure it stays nice and flat. And 
honestly, I think I should have washed this again, even though it came to me washed. There's a lot of lanolin in it. My hands are feeling really, really sticky. But for the purposes of demonstration, I think it'll work just fine. Got one. Now let's start the other one. Yeah, it's kind of, it is kind of sticky. Almost done. Second time through is the charm. Now, if I'm blending fibers and I want the fibers to become a homogenous color, which I'm going to show in my next video, I would um, run it through sometimes three times, just depending. But two passes is usually enough. And that's all on there, so let's stop it. Make sure I hit that and slow it down. And go ahead and pull it, pull the end off. And you see it's actually coming off a little nicer this time. I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling that. put it in reverse, turn it on, and I actually had to work on that because I was so used to having a handle and working by cranking it with my arm that I, I actually, there actually was a learning curve when I got the motor. But now I'm glad I have the motor. Coolest Christmas gift ever, babe. Here is the finished bet. So that is how to use your drum carder to card raw wool. And like I said, it's a little bit stiff. There's a lot of lanolin in that, so that would be interesting to try to spin later just to see how it spins up with that much lanolin. I'm not, I'm not usually one to use that much lanolin. I'm going to clean off my card or some for the next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week.